inside the Okeechobee County Courthouse. Our 30 to 40 residents, one by one, they take the podium. Please stand up, who's against this pro program? All standing in solidarity. The problem, though, isn't inside that courtroom, but about five miles west on a 3,400-acre area above the Kissimmee River. It was purchased by a private company contracted by South Florida Water Management to turn it into a wetland area, naturally filtering out phosphorus and nitrogen before it seeps into Lake Okeechobee. I don't think anybody in this room is against the concept. It's the location. Mm -hmm. Here's why. The project lies right next to three major developments, including the Lazy 7 subdivision. This wetland area would store about 12 to 20 inches of water. Homeowners fearing that would put them in a floodplain, plummeting property values and spiking insurance costs. This will be 30 years I've lived in that house and I've gone out and purchased flood insurance because I know this is going to change everything. While Nellie Sprouse says she'll pay $2,000 more a year, tree farm owner Steve Griffin says he and his 40 employees will be out of a job. Well, the seepage will put me out of business. We ship about 1,000 big trees a week on an average. And there's about $8 million worth of trees in there. Here's the other problem. The FAA recommends all airports keep a five-mile radius free of any wildlife attractions because birds attracted to wetlands like the one proposed can get caught in the engines of low-flying planes and cause a crash. The FAA tells me it's happened hundreds of times before. But as you can see, the wetland area falls within that five miles and directly in the path of takeoff. Hayslip says the FAA has now issued a formal warning saying that could be deadly. I'm a former Army pilot. I flew UH-60 Blackhawk helicopters. I've personally been part of a crew that has hit two birds. And I just really want to reiterate that, that this is very dangerous. We're going to have massive amounts of birds. The FAA says it can't be there. They're still pushing for it to be there. I reached out to both South Florida Water Management and Ecosystem Investment Partners. EIP's Kyle Graham told me he has a team of scientists studying the potential impacts to the airport's flight path and surrounding areas, adding the project isn't set in stone yet, but he doesn't believe flooding will be an issue. Yeah, we're not filling up the floodplain with fill material, so we're not affecting where the water would go. And South Florida Water Management released a statement telling me the project is still being evaluated and says in the meantime, they encourage public comment as those filing out of the courthouse only hope they do. I hope they reconsider and move it.